poker, also known as sweetening the pot. <laughs> Sweden is just an awesome place. And I'd also like to tell you that... What's he doing? I didn't know he could yodel like that. <laughs> as luck or fate would have it, a NATO plane flew into Shepherd today. I know you're thinking, Joe, you haven't worked at Shepard in a long time, right? Yeah, I was just out there babbling up with them. Anyhow, there was a couple of female military personnel out there that happened to be sisters that flew in. And I figured they'd be bored being stuck out at Shepard for New Year's, so I invited them to come on to the New Year's party. Now, what's weird is, they formed half of a tribute band that sings songs that the famous group named ABBA from Sweden sang years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they're here tonight. It's just amazing. And we're going to get to listen in. It's going to be a little bit different, though. We're going to get to listen in on a snippet, I say a snippet of their conversation that simulates what life is like when they're out on tour. Now, <laughs> what's going to be different about this performance? is at the end of this conversation, pay attention now, this, this is a contest. Alright? we got one group up here, one group back there, one group right here, and two groups over there, and y'all can be one back there. At the end of this conversation, I'm going to need a guess from one person in each group it's going to be a number that's going to represent the number of actual ABBA song titles that you're going to hear in this conversation from two members of this group. Now, so here you go. These two blonde-ish singing sisters are named Greta and Gigowska Dick. And I want you to know that they're from the Tribute Swedish group band known as GABA. Let's hear it for GABA. Number answer from each group after this conversation snippet. One more. Ready? Ready? Hey, you look into my angel eyes when you're speaking to me. And while you're at it, hand me some spaghetti on the tay on the tay. I'm hungry. Look, we've been traveling all over on our consort tour. It's another town, another train, and upon our arrival, we're supposed to be as good as new. Yes, we're supposed to rebound on short rest. It's like bang a boomerang, bounce back in our step. By the way, have you met our stage, new stage manager named Cassandra yet? She's quite the chiquitita, according to our brothers. Nah, like our mother always said, you've got to learn how to dance while the music still goes on. I'm getting to be a real dancing queen. I have no disillusion of being as great as Major Rogers. Does your mother know how you've been doing this? I've been walking around going rum rum diddle while you're soaring around like an eagle. And by the way, have you met our new stage lighting guy named Fernando? Greta, I've got to just be me. I've got to perform now before I go from a twinkling star to a passing angel. And about that spaghetti you wanted, you're always asking for something. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, it's either like that or I'm going to sing you my love song that I wrote. Here we are in freezing Sweden, and I'd much rather be in happy Hawaii. Oh, and by the way, happy new year to you, sis. It up to you, but I'm about to bid you hasta mañana, and yes, I've met Fernando. Didn't you know that he is your brother? But I've mentioned my new boyfriend, the Swedish chef. But have I mentioned my new boyfriend, the Swedish chef? I'm head over heels in love with him. Well, it's like I was saying to our concierge named Helen. Hey, hey, Helen, got any skates we can borrow here in Sweden? Yeah, I saw you talking to her. <laughs> She looked at you like there was a hole in your soul. I just shook my head and said, honey, honey, hang in there. I am just a girl living in a small town world. The first time I tried to say that, I committed a verbal faux pas and said, I am just a city, my bad, lol. <laughs> I got three years ago to the Swedish chef cousin Meatloaf, and when the preacher asked, I said, I do, I do, I do. I was, it was so romantic because I have a dream in my sleep that reoccurs. I don't have to communicate with Fetcher Burr. Much with our fans, I let the music speak to them for me. You may want to check your makeup before we go on stage. Rude. I saw in the mirror that you haven't got enough on yet. I wonder if Meatloaf would like to see you makeup free. Ugh. <laughs> you know, if I, if it wasn't for the nights that we have concerts, we'd be unemployed. True that. 
But back to the dancing. Did you know that I'm a marionette? I've been waiting for you to get as good as I am. Quit monkeying around or I'm going to write a King Kong song for you. And if you proceed to eat all of those onions on your hamburger, you're going to give the sweetest chef kisses of fire. Well, knowing me, knowing you, there's nothing we can do. It's like Mama always said, love isn't easy, but it sure is hard enough. Ah, that Mama Mia. <laughs> well, what about our negotiations, negotiations agent? He's kind of like the man in the middle who takes more money than he's worth. Money, money, money. It's all that man thinks about. Maybe it's time for him to move on. Say what you will. The Swedish chef is my love, my life. And just like that, my mama said, Nina, pretty ballerina, dancing across the floor. <laughs> she kept complimenting me going on and on and on. Well, all I can say is that one of us is lonely. This could be our last summer together. It's really true that people need love. As I was saying this, I heard a phone go ring ring. Was that your phone? <laughs> well, rock me to sleep in my mama's arms. I'm just a girl in a rock and roll band. Some days I don't know, should I laugh or cry? I do like the idea of being in Hawaii, sitting in the palm tree on the beach. <clears throat> I feel time slipping through my fingers. It's been so long since we weren't on tour, like we're soldiers in, a ba in battle after battle. Could this be our Waterloo? I'm about ready to send off the SOS signal. Well, we've got to have a super trooper type mentality and the show must go on. You can rely on me. Take a chance on me and you will see that we can get this done one more time. Oh, and by the way, thank you for the music that you wrote. It's perfect. Suits me to a T. In short, that's me. Yada yada whatever. The day before you came, I watched a Dr. Phil episode and was talking about LeBron James not doing well now that he's playing in Cleveland. The title of that segment was The King Has Lost His Crown. I wasn't sure which sport he was talking about, so I asked him the name of the game. I hear what your gabba e. We need some time together. We need to hang out the way all friends do. Maybe we can go go-kart racing. They say the winner takes it all. I hear they have a special going on. Lady shoes right now. That shoe carnival. Two for the price of one. Voulez vous. I'm all about the shoes. <laughs> we have to watch out for inferior and second-rate bands, though. When all, I said, when all is said and done, maybe some credit card usage is in order. Remember when we were kids in school? Remember when I kissed the teacher? <laughs> I just gotta ask. Why did it have to be me? No big 